Back to uh, Exodus 34 as we wrap things up. There's one last verse that I wanted to share with you. Uh, Exodus chapter 34, verse 8. Remember, Moses just gives, gets ear of who God is. He proclaims the name of the Lord, and he's starting to learn about this God who loves him. And, and look what it says in verse 8. Something happens to Moses. Verse 8 says, And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and did what? Man, those words just popped off the page to me this past week. And here's why. There's always a response. Even in our DNA where we say God is the goal, we believe there's no greater pursuit in life than knowing God. We say, therefore, because anytime there's knowledge about God, an attribute about God, a characteristic about God, it should always be there for a reason. There's always a response. Someone will say, well, yeah, okay, God is love. I walked out of the sermon. What did Pastor Jeremy talk about today? Uh, God is love. I got it. True statement. But if that affirmation of who God is doesn't turn into a declaration of how you live your life, the statement, God is love, while true, is still false in you. It's false. Until it makes a tangible difference, we've missed it. This is why we say other, other ones like um, found people, find people. It's one of our DNA, our core values in our church. When you're found by the love of God, you'll want to go about finding other people and telling them about Jesus. Perhaps if you don't talk about Jesus, I'm just saying, maybe this is some, maybe it's something true of you. If you don't talk about Jesus, it might not be because you're not an evangelist. It could just be that you haven't really experienced the love of God in a deep, deep way where you want to tell other people about it. You don't have to be an evangelist. You don't have to be a preacher to talk about Jesus' love. Have you experienced it? This is why we say save people, serve people. It's one of our other core values at our church back there on our wall. We believe that if you're saved, if you've experienced the love of Christ, you'll want to serve people. Perhaps if you see someone in need and you don't have any ever prompting of going to help that person in need, it might not be that you're bad at serving. It could just be that you haven't experienced the love of God. Because the love of God always demands a response. It's knowing the love of God for you that produces the love of God in you.